Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Mark Tatcher, the executive producer of the Comic Book Store, and with me is. Hi, everyone. I'm Trent Rogers, the additional producer of uh, the series as well. Uh, we're going to talk about why we've decided to restore and re-release the short film, which is basically responsible for all of this craziness. Kicked all the madness off. It's true. We basically met each other through this project, and we felt as crummy as it was to re-release it in its original intended format, which was black and white. I kind of wanted to do that. We fixed the audio a little bit. We had pretty much no budget, so that's why it looks and sounds the way it does. Um, but just because of its meaning and significance to us as a cast and crew, we thought we would re-put it out there. So this disc has some bonus features for you to check out. Uh, one of the like first ever cast reads we did um, is on this disc, and you'll notice that the commentary uh, kind of stops halfway through. That was the only way I could get it on here. Um, that's the, the master disc just stopped there. So it might be kind of weird, but we wanted to give everything that the short film had in one new new package for you guys to enjoy. So we hope that you enjoy it. We hope that you forgive its blemishes. And uh, yeah, thanks for uh, checking us out. So check out comicbookstorestheseries.com for more and look forward to the new season. Thanks a lot, everybody.
Dude, no idea. Man, give me a break and tell me how it went. It was the best movie I've seen in years. Hands down the best superhero movie. Acting, top notch. Story, like the story was awesome and I say truly comic book for once. Hear me out, hear me out, I know what you're gonna say. But the CGI was incredible too, the special effects, the most believable stuff I've ever seen. Definitely one of my favorite movies, hands down, best comic book adaptation I've ever seen. You know what, no, I need to say that because you're a traitor. You are a traitor. Man, what's your problem? It's like, Ethan was killing you until these superhero movies came out, and now you're totally the up and ups. You are. You're the only guy I know that has their own comic store and internet business. You're, you're like rich, man. I don't know, it's just, it's like a whole different medium, you know? Like, don't get me wrong, it can't be done well. Sin City. And the look of the first Hulk. Don't, hear me out. When you and I first saw the first preview for the first Hulk, we were excited, it looked amazing. Then of course, we see it and the whole don't see Hulk green for hour and a half and Poodle Dog fight climax. But the look was awesome, the cinematography, editing, whatever. It meant that was awesome too. I don't know, you know, I, I give up, you know, it's just like, it, it's like talking to a really hardcore music fan, you know, or like a really hardcore musician about the difference between iPod, vinyl, you know, two totally different things that just shouldn't be compared. That's deep, man. such a huge bank they can choose from. Such a stupid game. Why'd you buy this dumb game anyway? I'm spending half my wages on it at least. I bought it so you'd spend your wages here, man. I guess it was a good move. The game sucks, man, not me. And you keep playing thinking, okay, if I get to boss levels, I'll I better see some characters in. But no, keep playing, keep wasting your time. Waste your money and you never see them. There's no ending. No ending. Alright, man, uh, listen. Free comic book day two days away. I keep trying to order in these extra giveaway books because, you know, it's just getting nuts and, well, I'm trying to think it might be a good idea to hire someone for the summer. It's gonna be like this. Hire someone? It's like I'm playing this game. I don't even like this game. You said that when I got hired, as long as I helped out when there were customers around, that I could. Play games and read comic books when it was dead. No, Seth, Seth, you're great, you're great. It's, this is just a bigger thing. It's like, it's just in general getting busy. And, you know, I'm expecting a lot of foot traffic because of these new ads. I'm seriously thinking it might be a good idea to hire someone. Like, you know, plus with the online selling, it's just getting crazy busy for me. And this way I can train you how to do that. And then you could, you know, train your, uh, your protege, you know, if you will, uh, you know, to do what you do. Back ordering, cataloging, that kind of thing. My own protege, you say? Well, now, Bruce, this intrigues me. Ah, uh, exactly. All right, dude. Do up a help wanted sign. Do me a favor. Get it in the window. Uh, you're in charge of hiring. All right. Hopefully, we can find someone in the next few days. Well, we just use Chris or Zach. I mean, these guys. Oh no, 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 wait, man. I don't want the regs taking over the store. Don't get me wrong. They're good guys. Good guys. But you know, we need someone. Someone who's like a professional. You know, someone who. Someone who enjoys wearing deodorant. Oh, ouch. Understood.
Hey, sweetie. Hey, hon. I thought I'd bring you lunch while I was on my break. What'd you get? Ah, uh, nothing much. Just a pita. I knew you'd be busy. Plus, I thought you could use a little TLC. I always do. Hey, Seth. Hey, Hales. How, how are you doing? Good. So, help wanted, eh? Yeah, I'm looking for the next meet. Do you want to apply? Oh, no thanks, man. <laughs> Gotta keep the world separate, you know? Got the, uh, the Bruce world, the Store world, the GF world. Can't do it. When are you gonna grow up? Hey, look around. Ain't gonna happen. I'm just gonna throw us out there. And I don't take it the wrong way, but... You pretty much... You pretty much have the coolest girlfriend in the world. Easy, Gus. No, I'm just saying, she's cool, she's pretty, and she's always hanging out at your store, and she really likes you for you. You're lucky, eh? I hope you know that. She's awesome. No, I'm totally grateful. I mean, I found the one girl who's totally into, like, D&D, &D, retro arcade games. Oh, man. Out of anyone in the world. But no, Seth, man, it'll happen for you. Yeah, I know. It's just that, I don't know, I'm worried that whenever it does happen, I'll be some old sellout who has to give up comic books in order to go clubbing or something like that. Shouldn't have to do that for anyone, you know? No, I know. It's just... I'll be going through these weird fits of jealousy or whatever when you guys are together. And don't get me wrong. I'm happy for you guys. It's just... When's it going to be my time? Seth, you're the man. You just are, man. Think it easy. learn the rules. I know the rules. I almost queued for the Pro Tour. Twice. Well, Hotshot, that's an illegal move. Bruce has some rules behind the counter. Why don't you go review them? Oh. Seriously? You're not going to let me play that? It says right on the card you can. Were you illiterate and a cheater? Maybe Bruce will read the rules so he won't embarrass the store of the next Pro Tour. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. We can't have that kind of language in the store. What? I want you to what? go. What? You want me to leave? You're gone. Bro, no, come on, man. You know how it is. Two weeks, you're gone. Get out of here. But. I'm sorry, Bruce, man. Where am I gonna go? Dude. Where do my, my mom's not home until four. You guys can <laughs> my 12 sided <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry about that. He has done this before. So, why should we hire you? <laughs> you should hire me because I have actual adamantium clothes. Wear Pink Floyd sandals. I am a Kerry student to Captain Agathikas. Numbers. That was the question. I have two reasons. One, I'm easily influenced by any superhero movie. I know a lot of people, and I know some people who come here. It's what I do. It's what I do. It's what I do. So I'd be perfect to work in this store because I hate reality. You will give me this job. You never listen. I want to be like her. Because I will slaughter you with my 120 sword masters if you don't. Because I am a really great person. Because I'm a freaking Jedi Knight. <laughs> Talk about it. Use your chest for 
think I might have the wrong place here. I was a life guard for a long time. I know that I know rules. No well. Yeah, I just need money. I need a job fast. I need to get just a whole bunch of money. I built uh, three high rises. I can not illiterate. Um, this little, little lady at the house where I work fell over and I help her get her help her get an ambulance and all that. But I'm just absolutely awesome, and I'm great with people. Boys, boys like comic books. I read a lot of uh, Batman and. Uh, Superman, the old X-Men ones. I found out there's a cat here, so I kind of want to work here and pet the cat. And the second is because I have these. Uh, I have a friend named Wade. It starts kind of scaring me. I'm a big comic fan and I love to have this job. You should hire me because I want to act. I need a job. This is just so good. Can't get into the civil service anymore because I didn't go to Queens. Forgot. One more tattoo is right there. I look to her myself. Welcome back. 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 But there'd be no way they could work in a comic store. Complete disaster, man. Awful. There's no way we're going to find anyone to work in the store with us. Just... Um, I'm here about the job interview. Yeah, uh, come on in. Uh, Seth, you want to take the wheel? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, um, yeah, we'll go around the back. Yeah, sure. Okay. All right, let's get on with the interview. Have you ever worked in a comic book store before? No, um, but I have worked in a grocery store as a cashier, so I'm totally familiar with handling money and stuff and working at a fast-paced environment. So yeah, I'd be totally great working here. Well, your resume looks really good. It's like, yeah, it's perfect, Jody. Anyway, what we're trying to do is try and find someone that likes comic books, science fiction, and I guess someone who's down with the whole concept of nerdery. Oh, yeah. Because I used to get kind of long here, and it'd just be really cool if we could have someone like ourselves to hang out with them instead. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, totally. I don't, I don't like to sit still, so as far as cataloging whatever between the busy times. Um, do you actually have any rushes around here? Yeah. Yeah, days like Wednesdays when new orders come in, oh, yeah. or um, when we have tournaments and stuff. Basically, what we're really trying to do is just merge initiative and personality, because it'll be good for the store. And since comic books aren't the nerdy thing around anymore, I think trying to diversify it with uh, a lady like yourself would probably be good for the store. and probably be good for me too. Um, great. No, I mean like, no, I mean good for me as far as enhancing my social skills and actually talking to a girl on a regular basis. Like, I work related, not harassment type <laughs> basis. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay, don't worry about it. I was actually thinking of wearing my Battlestar Galactica t-shirt as a fanboy. No way. Fanboy. Yeah, uh, yeah as a fanboy resume. I'm a huge fan. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, it's my favorite show. The writing is solid, and the characters are so believable in oh, depth, and, and it's exactly wait, what Wait, 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 wait. New or old? The old one was just a little bit before my time, so uh, it's kind of like watching the original Star Trek. It's great for a while. Now it's clear to say goodbye to all the... Um, hi. 
small free comic book day? Yes. Could our band play a show here tomorrow? Yes. Uh, by the way, our band is called uh, Living in the Snowy Mailman. I've got some patience. I've got some time. Master Bruce? Yo. Morning, Bruce. Ah, Joey. Hey, first day, right on. Well, Seth kind of runs the store here, and he said you passed the flying colors, so uh, you're in. Basically, just chill out. Uh, tomorrow's free comic book day, so uh, today's going to be a little busy setting up, gearing up for it and whatnot, but uh, yeah. Seth, take the keys, buddy. On it. All right, Joe. Joe, that works, right? Okay? Basically, today is all about getting ready for tomorrow, so we're going to do some organizing, some dusting, and some stacking, just get all the shelves looking professional. Do you mind doing some dusting? Why? Because I'm a girl? No. What? Come on. <laughs> As I slip, slip through a portal, slip going back, yeah, I went for it, I was a long time. Gone like I took it to the corner, no offense to my back cover. I've never been gone, that's how I'm living. Yeah, I roll in a rhyme and I'm sweeping the dust of time. Parachute pants, with a shorter wristband, I'm pulling my mother for the high school dance. Whoopin' on my mustache, ain't got no cash. Gotta get going, but if my car is no gas, that's how I'm living. Yeah, I roll in a rhyme and I'm sweeping the dust of time. Late night drive through double space, burglar, nightmare, Texas time, traveling burglar. In my back pocket, got a black tooth comb, and I like my music loud, so my speakers are blowing, that's how I'm living. I'm rolling around, I'm sweeping the dust of time. So again, here I go, traveling through time, 1984 through 2009. All I gotta do is close my eyes, I slip through a portal and say, 2009, that's how I'm living. That's how I'm getting. Hey man, you got that issue of Batman where his back gets broken? Yeah, like five of them. Good morning, Bruce. living life, you know. Are my books ready? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, uh here we go. Uh, just the way you like them all. Alphabetical. Bagged and boarded. He used to own this place. And then he sold it to Bruce and just retired. The guy walks around like Gandalf because he can. The word on the Warhammer circuit is that he has a comic book shaped pool. Wouldn't that just be a regular shaped pool? What? No. Thank you, my good sir. And now, I am off. So, so cool. cool. Man, how did Bruce ever afford to buy this place off of him? Well, I don't know. Bruce doesn't really like talking about it. I really isn't comfortable anyway, unless you know him or he knows you kind of thing. But... Since you seem pretty cool, I'll, uh, I'll fill you in. See, Bruce is a second generation nerd. His father before him was a nerd. In fact, he was the nerd of his era. Like, he had the most unbelievable comic book collection. And he had these vintage action figures. Like, really obscure, like Doctor Who and... I'm serious? Like the old one? Oh, yeah. The original. Oh, my gosh. And Star Wars, the second they came out. Oh. And he kept them in the packages before it was cool to do that. No way. Like, oh, yeah. Nobody did that. I know. Oh, my gosh. Exactly. So he was a big deal. <laughs> anyway, they named him Bruce after Batman. Bruce Wayne. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> and in some weird, twisted, ironical act of fate, his parents died when he was really young. 
Oh yeah, like by who? Jack Nicholson? <laughs> no, I'm I'm being totally serious, totally. His parents died in a car accident when he's young. And uh, like he already had this family fortune waiting for him. Just like the real Wayne family. But uh, he got it when he was younger and when he got the chance he just flat out bought the comic book store. And I guess he did it for some nostalgia thing, you know? Because I guess all of us nerds or geeks or dorks, whatever you want to call us. I guess we're all like that in a way. Like all this stuff reminds us of just simpler times where it was just, you know, superheroes against the bad guys. Anyway, he got the chance and uh, just bought it and here we are. That is really sad. Well, it's really cool, you know? Yeah, like it, it's sad that it happened, of course. It's always sad when a kid loses his parents, but like, he grew up with his grandparents and he had a happy childhood, so it's not this tragic backstory. Like, the guy has a bajillion dollars. Oh, well, that doesn't come close to your parents, though. I mean, come on. No, I know, but like, the store is his and he's got, he's happy. He's got the coolest girlfriend. She's, she's this cool hippie kind of girl. She's so pretty. She's got these crazy dreadlocks, and she she really likes him for him. Not for the money, but she really likes him for him. She's always hanging out in the store, and she knows all the regulars and everything. And, I don't know, he deserves it. Anyway, that's Trent, and that's Bruce, and these are back issues which need to be sorted and organized, especially for tomorrow, all right? No problem. All right, good work. I guess that was your first foray into our kingdom of Nerda. Good work. Um, Thank you. Worked out well for the first day. Keep geeking it up. Basically, we'll get you on the tail next week for sure. But for now, just hang out, get a feel of the vibe, and uh, well done. Thanks. Yeah, gotta give you props. Had more advice, all right? No, you deserve props. Just doing my job, man. It's okay. No, I literally need to give you a prop. See, we have a, a replica of the sword Conan used in the very first Conan movie. No way! That's our oh, sword. Oh, it's pretty. You bet. It's something we give out to ourselves and uh, regulars when they do something extraordinary in the store. You let regulars run around with that thing outside? Well, no, actually, we. No, it stays on the shelf and in the store. It's the title we give out. That's what I mean for the month. Everyone knows what it means. But it stays in the store. Seth, what's going on? Man, I booked a band for a good comic book day. Sweet. Alright everybody, it's free comic book day and uh, in honor of free comic book day we have a band for you guys. So enjoy the band and enjoy free comic book day. <laughs> 